Devin, is that you? Shh. What are you doing? Oh, oh, dude. Dude, I love this game. Non-branded, colorful, balancing block game? It's the best. I managed legacy storage for 15 years, so I know a thing or two about managing blocks. That would make sense. Now, I wear a sport coat. <laughs> You know, I used to manage legacy unified storage too, and non-branded colorful balancing block game, it's a lot like managing legacy storage. Really? How so? Well, think about the architecture. When you build a legacy unified storage system, you're going to start with your disk here at the bottom. You're going to create RAID groups that those disks live in. You might create aggregates on top of that, and then from the aggregates, you're going to create volumes. Now, if you're talking about file systems, the file lives on top of those, those volumes. If you're talking about file and block, then you might even have a block system that lives as files within that entire stack. Devin, that, that really sounds like it sucks. Oh, it gets worse. Now, with a legacy faux unified stack like this, you have a lot of management problems that get introduced. First of all, let's say you wanted to change something in the file level up here. Maybe it's a permission, or maybe it's even a quota. So in order to make that change up here, you may have to go all the way down to the aggregate down here to affect that change. Oh man, don't topple it. Sev one right there. Now imagine you want to expand the underlying resources, like you want to add disks to the system. Well, what you have to do is take your disk and replace it in the system, potentially affecting not only the aggregate or changing out to an entirely new aggregate, you're going to affect the entire stack above that. Ooh, that's not good. That's your data center. But that's not all. Let's say, for example, you want to manage a VM within an NFS data store in your legacy storage system. Now, in legacy storage, you're not managing just one VM. You usually have multiple all stored within the same NFS data store. Let's say, for example, you just wanted to snapshot one VM in that environment. Well, you have to go all the way down to the bottom of the data store and snapshot everything that's within that. Devin, that seems like a lot of bloat. So how do you solve that problem? Well, the way I solved that was with pure flash array, which is truly unified storage, both block and file. To begin with, rather than managing across that really high stack of resources, we're managing at the levels you want. So in the case of the VMware snapshots, instead of managing one, VM, one NFS store with a lot of VMs, we create one NFS store per managed directory and align the managed directory in the VMs, which means you control only what you need, where you need. Devin, that sounds awesome. But how do you simplify the management of the tall stack? I'm glad you asked. We're going to use unified policy management. Imagine this is your policy. You're going to take your storage resources, and you're going to use policy management to deploy them the way they need to be set. We use policies to standardize configuration, simplify, and also enable automation. Wow, that's simple. But it's more. But we don't give you a stack. Instead, we build everything in a flat architecture. We give you a global pool of resources, a flat architecture. When you want to add additional resources, you simply connect them to the entire pool. We build storage services on top of that, so you're no longer managing that stack you're only managing at the level you need. And when you need to add more resources, your services automatically expand to accept it. Devin, I see it now. True unified is the answer. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Digital Bytes. If you want to learn more about flash ray file services, click the link in the description below. That's it for now, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>